Okay, uh, let's look at an example similar to uh, quiz three, number three. All right, so you have a rational function given uh, f of x equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 over x squared minus x minus 2. All right, so we want to uh, take the limit. All right, so first one, all right, so let's look at the limit of uh, f of x as x approaches negative 2. All right. Then uh, it's, uh, it's actually already factored out. It's kind of nice, right? Before uh, we do anything, uh, when you when it comes to uh, taking the limit, you just plug in, right? So you can see that uh, if you plug in uh, x equals negative two on top, uh, because of this uh, uh, factor x plus two, it's going to be zero, and on the bottom you still have x plus two, so the the denominator goes to 0, 2. You have 0 over 0, right? When you have that situation, uh, we should cancel out the common factor. So in this case, x plus 2 and x plus 2. So we cancel those out, right? Then uh, we take the limit. So we need to take the limit of simply 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 as x approaches negative 2. All right? All right, so here we just plug in again. So what you get is going to be, right, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 1. So it's going to be negative 3 on top. Right? Then you plug in negative 2 minus 1. So it's negative 3 again. So that's going to give you positive 1. Right? The next one's the same. Actually, we can just uh, cancel out the common factor again and uh, plug in and see what happens. So we have limit as uh, x approaches 1 from the right. Right? Then you have uh, same thing, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1, all right? So then plug in, all right? If you plug in 1, 2 times 1 plus 1, so it's going to be 3 on top, positive 3, all right? So if you plug in 1 here, 1 minus 1 is going to be 0, but the, since the x is approaching 1 from the right, so you can think of this as slightly bigger than 1. So slightly bigger than 1 minus 1, it's going to be slightly positive, right? So which means that, uh, okay, the sign-wise, positive number divided by positive number is going to be positive, right? Then you have a non-zero number on top divided by something very, very close to 0. It's going to be a huge quantity. So we're going to indicate that by it's going to blow up to positive infinity. Right, the next one. Right, when it comes to evaluating a, a limit at infinity, what you can do is you can actually ignore everything other than the leading terms. So you have a leading term on top, which is two x squared, and the leading term on the bottom is uh, x squared. Right. So you can just ignore everything else. Just, uh, you know, keep those leading terms. So as x approaches negative infinity, right? So you have a 2x squared over uh, x squared. So those are the leading terms, right? Then uh, we can cancel these two guys, right? Which leave you just two, right? Limit of a constant 2 is, uh, as x approaches anything, it's going to be 2, right? So we have that, right? Then uh, you can see that the a indicates that the x equals negative 2 is not a vertical asymptote because it does not give you either positive infinity or a negative infinity, right? But uh, uh, a part of b, since the limit of this function as x approaches 1 from the right gives you positive infinity, which makes x equals 1 a vertical asymptote, right? So the vertical asymptote 
there's uh, only one and the B indicates that the vertical asymptote is uh, X equals right one this number right here one right so that's the vertical asymptote right in order to find a horizontal asymptote uh, we look at the uh, limit at infinity right when you have a rational function like this one uh, you would ha have only one uh, horizontal asymptote at the most it, it, so if it, if it has it it's going to be just one all right so in this case the limit of this function as x approaches negative infinity is equal to 2 so therefore y equals 2 is the y uh, horizontal asymptote right so uh, so part C indicates that the y equals 2 is the horizontal asymptote of the given function right that's it I hope that uh, this was clear.